Hey guys, we're out there taking the little one out today for a walk. See this one here, out there in a shower cap. I guess she's uh, getting ready for the rain. As you can see, it's a bit overcast today. We figured it would be a good day to bring out the little one here. Because she doesn't really like the sun. So seeing as it's an overcast day, she said, hey, why not? Favorite one? No. <laughs> How's no, it being not. a mother? With a shower cap on the beach? Fine. How do you, uh, let me ask you some questions then, since you uh, want to play cute. <laughs> With my shower cap? On the beach, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's going to be probably the title of this video. <laughs> but uh, how do you like, how was the experience from Having the back pains and morning sickness to now having the pride and joy in your face where you could see the end result. Uh, it was worth it. I'm excited to wake up every day to see him. To see both of us. Whether I'm home or waking up to his dad and him. Either one. I know I am excited about growing together. Every day it seems like he's doing more stuff and in such short time. So I'm cherishing the moment. Awesome, awesome. Um, and what would you say it's like breastfeeding? And how has it been? since the uh, cereal we added. He's gone full monster. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, one thing I can say about breastfeeding is um, believe in yourself with it. Because I have friends who produce more milk than I do. Who um, don't produce milk at all. So, just staying in your lane. Um, allowing your child to take on the breast as he please. Sometimes he wants the breast, sometimes he wants the bottle. So that's pretty good. After the cereal now, adding the cereal at three months, he eats so much more. So I think that's also going to help me to produce a little bit more milk at least when I say a little bit more is some to have for later. Sometimes he just, once I pump, just drink all of that right there and then. She's be hot. She's be mod mod. So. Mod mod. <laughs> yeah. Um, what would you say is your biggest challenge of being a mom? It seems like everything is on you. Um, no matter how much of a supporter you have, it's still gonna feel that way. Because although your partner is there helping and doing everything else, you still have more to do, especially if you're breastfeeding. Especially if your child is someone who, who wants to be with you. They love the comfort of their mother or their caregiver. So, the fact that you're he's around you all the time he's gonna want to continue to be around you all the time so my turn to drive okay that's about it um what would you say uh, is the best part the best part uh just seeing how much your child take take on your actions and your husband's actions and watching them grow and learn at the same time. He's always learning no matter what. Learning how to hold his bottle, learning how to listen. If I say something, he'll look at me and 
and say, okay, this mm -hmm. means something. And he um, actually touched my face and my earrings. So he was able to use his hands before. He didn't know how to use his neck. His eyes used to look like he's looking at everything. But now he's more focused. He's learning how to do everything. So watching him grow and helping him grow is the best part about being a mom. Helping another human being. Yep. Who will allow me to help him to a certain extent. You know, for now. For now, I'll allow you to help me do everything. <laughs> Until I think I know I got it. Until a uh, big man do 15. <laughs> Well, that's all the questions I had for you. What about you? How's it being a new father? It's awesome. Especially, I was telling my um, boy Ray last night, I was like, boy, it's crazy that I know that you bring a kid into the world, but when you bring them to the world and they, you think they look just like you, it makes you feel even more like, wow, that was some amazing stuff. So it's like, to know all of that, it'll just be fun. Right, it'll just be a good experience. What I look forward to uh, being able to teach him everything I know and more. Give him the opportunity to do more than I did. Um, and just, you know, let him have that option. Like, shout out to Pops, because he taught me a lot of stuff. And that was able to help me do a lot of stuff. So like, odd jobs and stuff. I was able to do that. My granddad, like a lot of these stuff, but during the process, you'd be like, well, I'd rather be inside watching TV, but when you get older and you could make some money on the weekend just because of what they taught you, it is really, really be helpful. Be a good, a good, uh, payback, I guess you could say. You still like the discipline in the process, but afterwards, you just be like, yeah, it was worth it. What is the most difficult part about being a father? What has been difficult? Knowing so far? the mom has all the say. That's the most annoying thing to me. And that is uh, something I think as a country we really have to fix. Because, like, simple as us trying to get up his passport, like, it's like I didn't exist. Like, oh, y'all married? No. Oh, okay, well, uh, go sit down. We need to talk to you then. That's, uh, that's just the vibe they just carry on with. And it's like, I don't, I don't think it should be that way because it takes two people to make a kid. So it should be where either parent should be able to do these things. And then it's already a, a system like how even like how Tashawn was saying, 